Okay, I'm live. Good morning. Actually, good afternoon. It's 12.15 and this is my first Bible chew. I thought it would be helpful for me personally. I want to get meditate on the Bible every day. Um, and sometimes when I'm just by myself, my, my brain switches off and I'm reading the Bible and it's sort of kind of like, okay, it's washing over me as helpful, but it's not really going in as deeply as I would like it to. And, um, and I find that, you know, I've been doing refresh um, Bible chat and having conversations with someone else about the scripture and reading aloud and, and doing it on um, for Facebook has made me just more focused and engaged. And I've found myself thinking about what myself and the guests have talked about um, in the days following. And so it's making a difference for me. And, and then I thought, well, why don't I, that's only once a week. And I love that, but I want to have a daily routine where I'm just more engaged in the word of God. And I thought, well, if I do my meditation aloud and I do it live on social media, I'm going to be engaged. And um, I thought that's going to be super helpful for me. I thought, well, it could also be super helpful for you just to have somebody talk about it out loud. Um, I'm not the expert on the Bible. I'm just somebody who loves Jesus and I love the word. And um, I want to be engaged with it. I want to ask questions. I want to think out loud. I want to ponder. Um, and if my thinking and my pondering can help you think and help you ponder, then that's a great thing. So why not do this with me? Um, 15 minutes is, is um, what I'm aiming for. Just a 15 minute boost in my day. And I think um, that's really going to help me. Uh, you know what? I think um, I was going to start with Philippians, but I feel like I want to start with Psalm number one because it is the right time to start with for this. Yeah. All right, I'm going to flick. Flicking, flicking, flicking. Sometimes you just flick and you land on the, same, the right place straight away and it's amazing and it feels exciting. <laughs> but not this time. I've got to show multiple pages. Here we are, gone too far. I'm in Job. All right, I'm in Psalm number one. I'm reading from the NIV. Um, translation and uh, it starts with this one blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers um, my first thought as I'm reading that is it's talking about position um, where you have positioned yourself um, and I'm thinking where you position yourself makes a huge amount of difference um, because in our lives um, we operate so much by default, by habit, influenced by the circumstances around us because there's so many decisions we've got to make in the day that we can't think about the big important decisions all the time. We've got to go about our daily business. We've got to go about the little things. And so where we are positioned um, the influences around us, the circumstances, those pressing forces around us are really super important because they can change the course of our life. And so I'm just thinking we need to actively position and strategically position ourselves so that as we're doing the daily things, that the outer influences and circumstances are going to push us and cajole us in the direction that we actually want to go. Um, and so this person saying, blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. You're not positioning yourself with ungodly influences. You're not walking in the same way that people, the wicked are taking. The wicked meaning those who are not following the ways of God, who are following their own ways, their own ideas, um, who are doing things against what God says. It says, blessed is the one who does not stand in the way that sinners take. They're not positioned in that way. Um, or sit in the company of mockers, walking, standing, or sitting. Where's your position? <laughs> um, but there's a, there's, then there's a but. Um, this is the, the place. This is the position. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord? And who meditates on his law day and night? Um, and, and so the psalmist is saying, this is the position. This is the position that you want to 
place yourself, the strategic position that's going to bring life, um, that's going to help you. And it's going to talk a bit about how it does that. Um, and it says, if your delight is in the law of the Lord, um, and this is his word, this is what you know, I'm reading uh, today, um, and, and let your delight be there. Um, and if your delight is there, you're going to, you know, it's, it's not like, okay, let your, um, your force yourself to do the routine thing be there. Um, and no, it's not saying that. It's not saying let your discipline be there. <laughs> and I'm not saying the discipline's a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing. The fruit of the spirit is self-discipline. Um, but let your delight um, be in the law of the Lord. Let your delight be in his word. And so when we pick up this, and we realize we've got this time for it. I said, okay, this is a delight. This is something that I'm going to get into. And I'm going to love it. It's going to give me joy. It's going to give me gold. It's going to give me what it is that I need. And who meditates on his law day and night. And that's a challenge for me because I can, you know, I've got the scripture in my heart. I've, um, I've meditated and I've memorized part of it at different times. Um, but I, um, I, I'm like day and night. Let me do this more, God. And this is one of the reasons why I want to do this streaming um, regularly. Then I'm carving out a place. I'm positioning myself in the word of God um, by having you guys here, possibly here. Um, that will cause me to go, yes, I need to be there. I need to keep that appointment. I need to stick with that position. That's going to help influence me to keep in the word day and night okay so this is going to be for the day <laughs> i'll do something else for the night and uh, you know i do dip in and i love the word of god and i meditate and think about things about the word in my heart during the day as well but it's different um this this concept of meditating on his lord day and night day and night and what's that going to do for me how is that going to help me how is that position going to change my life it says that person is like a tree planted by streams of water. Um, if I was going to be a tree, I think it would be good to be positioned by streams of water um, because then it doesn't matter what the weather is, I'm going to be sustained. I'm going to receive that life-giving source that I'm desperate for in order for myself to be able to flourish. I don't want to be a tree that's kind of out there in the middle of nowhere where it doesn't have water or sometimes it's starving. I want to be able to flourish if I'm a tree. Um, and now I'm not a tree, I'm a human being. And how do I, as a human being, flourish? Um, but if I'm someone who delights in the Bible, uh, who meditates on it day and night, and that means I'm like a tree. I'm like a tree that's planted by streams of water. Um, because the Bible is my stream of water. That's what's going to come in. That's what's going to come in and cause me to grow. And, uh, you know, a tree, when it, the water comes up, it's not like you see the water and then this tree suddenly becomes magnificent. It's like you don't even notice the difference a little bit of water makes. Um, but you do notice the difference that the water makes um, if you don't have the water there um, or if you've got the water there consistently for a time, you start to see the tree flourish. You start to see it being green and not brown. It's full of life. It's full of energy. And that's the impact that the word has in our heart as we take it in. We don't notice what the little bit does. But over time, it starts to feed us. As we meditate on it, it brings life. It brings sustenance to our spirit. It informs us, gives us wisdom. And it says, that person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season. I'm getting cold. I'm going to bring this blanket up. I've got this lovely, look, warm, snuggly blanket here, and I'm outside. It's nice being outside because I just love being out in nature. It's beautiful. Um, but a little bit cold today, so I've got my blanket um so which yields its fruit in season um and i think yeah i want to be fruitful um if i was a tree a fruit tree i would want to be bearing fruit because that would be kind of like my purpose and i feel like if i wasn't bearing fruit there's something wrong um and all of us as human beings we want to be fruitful we want to live a life of purpose we want to live a life that matters we want to bring something forth that's going to make a difference we want to feel like our life matters um, and if we want that, how do we do that? Um, we bear fruit in season. Interesting there, the word season. Um, it doesn't mean you bear fruit all the time. Um, you know, sometimes we have this summer, autumn, winter, winter spring. Um, there's different seasons where we might sometimes hibernate because we just need a rest 
season. Um, and then spring after the rest, we might start to become fruitful. We see the flowers come out and, uh, and there's just all this activity happening. Um, but there's different seasons in our life for different purpose. And, um, and the Lord prunes us at different times as well so that we can be even more fruitful. Um, but this is what we need. We need that water coming in. We need the water of his word so that in season we're going to be fruitful and our life's going to matter. Our life's going to have significance and that uh, you'll be fruitful in a way that different way that than I will be. I'll be fruitful in a different way from you, but we'll all be fruitful and that will be very, very satisfying. Um, and, and what do we do? Like sometimes we're just trying to get the fruit to happen or we're bemoaning that the fruit's not happening. We're feeling like, what does my life matter? And yet we're actually neglecting coming to that source of water, that living water that can actually bring us to the place of being fruitful. And so we position ourselves not in the seat of sinners. We don't stand in the way of sinners. Um, and we don't sit in the seat of mockers, but our delight is in the law of the Lord. And on it, we meditate day and night. Um, and why don't you do that? Why don't you position yourself? Why don't you just decide, you know what, 15 minutes, it's not a big deal. Um, I can do that. Um, and, and, and you could just, I mean, you could, do it yourself with the word of God. You don't need me. But if you want, if that's going to be of help to you, um, you, you don't even have to look at me. <laughs> um, you can just have it going as audio in the background when you're in the car or when you're tired and you're lying down, close your eyes and just let that word of God wash over you. And, um, and that can be part of your routine. You're positioning yourself. Um, and it says, who yields its fruit. A person is like a tree planted by streams of water who yields which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. <laughs> Even throughout the difficult seasons, the leaf does not wither. <laughs> what a promise. I'm like, yay, I want to be that. I want to be that. Sometimes my plants, they do wither um, because I forget to water them. So I'm learning. Um, but I love it when they're green and they're fresh. And it's just, I like to look at them and they're beautiful. Um, and you can be beautiful. You can be beautiful. Um, his, your leaf does not have to wither. Whatever they do prospers. <laughs> um, yay. My hand up. Yes, I want to do that. And uh, it feels like the title of a, a self-help book, you know, about always prospering. <laughs> um, but that's what the word of God does. And it's prospering in, in the fullness of different ways. It might be in your relationships, um, um, in your endeavors whatever you're doing in life you're prospering your spirit your soul is prospering and therefore what you do is prospering not so the wicked they are like chaff that the wind blows away therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous for the lord watches over the way of the righteous but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Um, great wake-up call there to get things into perspective. Um, make your decision. Position yourself. And the Lord will watch over your way. Um, if I'm going to have anyone watching over me, you know, we watch over our kids. We make sure that they're safe. We make sure that they are making, you know, we help them with decision-making and um, um, make sure that they're getting good food and all sorts of things. Um, and... Uh, how cool is it that we have someone watching over us? And um, if I'm going to have anyone watching over me, I want the God of the universe watching over me um, because he knows everything. He loves me. He knows what's best for me. And I'm like, yes, thank you, God, for watching over me. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous and he helps guide us, which is awesome. I think we're at the end of our 15 minutes, so I'm just going to quickly pray. Father God, I thank you for your word, for Psalm 1, and I pray that it would go into our spirit and stay within us and be like living water, like food to our souls. And I pray your blessing on our day and that you remind us of these words throughout the day and that you would help us to position yourself in your word and to, like, to delight in it. Uh, we thank you for these words and we thank you that you have given us a life-giving source, that we are not alone, we are not on our own and it is not hard for us to engage with your word but we just have to do what we can and position ourselves and then you do the rest. You bring the life, you bring the transformation, you bring the flourishing and you bring the fruitfulness in season. So we thank you, God, and we praise you. So um, tomorrow... I'm going to um, start with the book of Philippians. 
So I invite you to join me. I haven't worked out a time yet. Um, we'll see if we get a flow. It might just be random. So you can just um, do this in your own time when it happens. And if you happen to catch me live, then that's awesome. All right, see you later. Have a great day.